I get side profile. Oh, got to be careful. Suck it in. Hey Open guys, up. it's May May and my trusty sidekick <laughs> Vinny. Oh, Vinny's here. And shenanigans. Hi. Who were both just having a conversation amongst themselves. <laughs> I'm trying to get this camera right, Shannon, but it ain't happening. You're a little high today. There you go. Slouch for me. That'll be better if you'll just slouch. Hello, just everyone. We're going to do something fun today that could go south, that's, but it could be good. That's a, that's a way to start right there. I'm just going to hedge my bets and tell you this could go south. What it's do you think of these, babe? It's cool. Do you think they're cute? That's what we're making today, isn't it? Not exactly these, but do you think they're cute? I really do think they're cute. Do y'all think they're cute? Can y'all see my earrings? I made them with my layered leopard stamp set and shrink plastic and jump rings and earring backs. And we're fixing to do that today, but a little bit different. If you want to see these made, Tamitha is editing this video right now. Um, and I think this is going to be Tuesday's video or are these going to be Saturday's video? I think Tuesday. So if you want to see those, let me show you another pair because you can't really see them on my ear. So look how cute these are. Here I made them with the hexagon, but I'm not going to tell you all the details of these. You'll have to watch the video. These are them with the hexagon. Aren't they stinking cute, y'all? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, and I have them in gold. I'll show you those later. Okay, today what I want to do is I want to try to make a pair with Shannon's initials on them. I yes. think this will be fun. We were making them the other day and I was like, ooh. Initials on like Shannon, we need to make some. But Shannon, do you want your monogram to hang or do you want just like your monogram right here so it'll be Let's do just the studs. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I don't know why you got two. There's no telling around here, babe. So, something I need to tell you guys that is very, very, very important. Very, uh, very important. There is a sale going on at May May Made It right now. And it is 20% off. So, all the products I'm using today, plus everything in our store except stamp clubs. What does that mean? You have it too? No, I just have one. Everything in our store is on sale 20% off. You use the coupon code VINMAY20. It's V-I-N-M-A-Y 20, and that's for our birthdays. It's a birthday sale Vinny's having. Oh, yeah. Um. So, oh, man, do I want to do that? This is where it could go dreadfully wrong. <laughs> um. Maybe not. Anyway, I gotta I gotta do this. I gotta do shen shenanigans. First name is. That is my first name. That's last name. That's last name. I need first name. So first name is. I'm gonna try doing it without the. That's where it could go terribly wrong. All right. First name is. Then, last name. S W L. All right. Listen. In the South, this is how we do it, and I know everybody doesn't do it this way. But in the South, we do first, last, and middle. And your middle can be your middle name or your maiden name. And for Shannon, it is an L. Name. And we're going to do it the Southern way. The maiden name was too long, so I, I wanted to shorten everything. <laughs> I kept my maiden name. My sister kept her maiden name. Okay, so let me show you what this means. When I'm stamping it, that's pretty good, it'll be Shannon... Woodfin Lee. That's what they're going to look like. Okay. That's how we do it in the South. Argue it in the comments. It's fine with me if you want to, but that's how we do it. And I know it's, it's touchy for folks. It's touchy. Okay. But we silver are or gold? Uh, silver. 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 All right. Question. The size of the bottom or the size of the top? Oh, you can't answer that. It has to be the bottom. The reason is this won't fit. Yeah. Never mind. So it'll be all right though, because it'll be little, it'll be cute. And if you don't like it, we'll do something else. All right. Oh, they'll be cute too. Uh -huh. I, I'm, I would try the hexagon, but I'm scared. Two inch circle punch. Just gonna be honest, I'm scared to get this oh, on yeah, there. Cute. I'm gonna go ahead and punch extras in case I mess one up. All right, so this is the silver. Let me show y'all what this is, what I'm punching from. Don't I have the packaging in here? I had it. Here it is. Shrink nope, that's not it. Yeah, the shrink. Right here. The silver, yeah. Okay, so the one I'm using is the pack that is the silver and gold pack. This is a two-tone pack. Comes with silver and gold. Okay, that is the silver I just used. This is the gold. 
okay? Um, they, like I said, they come in the same pack. We have two other kinds. We have the printable one for your inkjet printer. Look, Shannon's like, Vanna, there's one. And we also have the super sanded. Now the super, Lord, your hands are cold, Shannon. The super sanded is for stamping. It's already got a, it's got a grit on it, so your ink will stick really well. So that's a quick overview of those. Okay, now then, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay these guys out to stamp. I don't know if I wanna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna do it like this. Okay, I want to do something that you don't have to do. I want these to stay still. But because my stamp, let me show you, is so close to the same size of this dude, see how close that is? I can't really put tape or a magnet on, okay? So what I'm going to do is using my little laminated sheet, I'm going to take just a little bit of Elizabeth tape. I'll have to peel this off later. You may have a soft tack double stick or something like that. You can use that. And I'm just going to make this as a holder for my little pieces. Now, in the video I show you on Tuesday, you'll see a different way to do this. I'll show you a different way. But because I needed to go ahead and punch these out so I would know my parameters for stamping, I had to do it this way. Now I'm just gonna take my hand and get some of the sticky off. You can even hug this on your shirt, get some lint on it. You don't need this to like keep them permanently there. You just want it to hold them kind of still. All right, so. Yeah, cause they gonna stick to that ink. Yeah, the ink pad will stick if you're not careful. Okay, oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because this is a video you, you really should film. <laughs> this is not something you should do live. This is, this is harder than Because yesterday. of the edit quality. Yeah, you, you, should, you, should, yeah, you should really film these videos, but. Well, you've given them the warning. I've given, yeah, that's true. I'm also going to, because these have never been stamped, these are fresh, I think one of these has been stamped, but most of these are just fresh. I'm going to ink it up and stamp it off on some vellum just to season it. And you'll see why. See how that's kind of weak? I don't want weak. So I'm gonna do this. And I'll just do this. You need to do this with all your stamps. This is called seasoning and it, it gets better. Usually I do it three times. <clears throat> and you don't have to test this on vellum. I just had a piece of scrap from yesterday, and that's why I'm doing it. Well, it sounds like Joe stayed. Okay. Yep, because they're conversating. Oh, they're conversating. Intensely. Now, another thing that's really cool. If when you're stamping, you don't get like this really super fresh, clear stamped image, don't stress. This is going to shrink down, and it's going to hide those imperfections. Okay? All right, so I'm going to ink this up. And I have to take my time here. There's no rushing with this. There's no rushing. And I'm going to have to get over the top, y'all. So let me get in here where I can see what I'm doing. I'm eyeballing. Are y'all surprised? Doing good. Do not wiggle. Just press and let that ink transfer, but don't wiggle. And then you just want to lift up and hopefully... Okay, so I got a bad spot right there. So I'm just gonna go right back. The reason I got that spot is because I'm scared to press. You can't be scared to press, you gotta press. That's also why I went ahead and did multiple punches when I was punching. Let's see if I lined it back up. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now my I'm not gonna stress to about you that. Is why would you not put all three letters on it at the same time? Um, because these are not made to where they can line up on a block perfectly all beside each other. They could, gotcha. but because stamps have a little bleed around them, and I find this better for me. Well, that's what matters. If I don't like this one, I'll come back. I also have, there's other things I can do there. I told y'all this wasn't for live. This is a video, this is a film situation. That feels like I have more ink because it's wanting to wiggle more. Hey, thanks everybody for the birthday wishes. I see Much my, better. My birthday twin, oh. Naoka, is on. Much you, better. I'm going to try to go over that one again. Naoka. What's the worst thing that happen? I have to redo it anyway. It's just paper, right? No, no it's, it's just, just shrink. shrink film. Just shrink film. Oh, we have more. And if these are super cute, I might wind up having to make multiple pairs. It's not bad. That'll probably shrink down. Yeah. And if it doesn't, uh, Sharpie. 
Here's what I'm going to do. You're using stays on ink? Mm -hmm. Stays on is, is the most misunderstood ink in the world. Stays on is not for everything. It is for non-porous surfaces. It's not a paper ink. I know it's confusing because it's called stays on, and you're like, well, I want it to stay on. Yeah, you do. But this is not the one for every day. This is the one for non-porous, for your acetates, for your plastics, for vellum. And it wiggles. I have to be quiet. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Much better. Okay, much better. I All do. right. I do not have three ears, y'all. <laughs> yeah, true. She does not have three ears. Okay, let's, I'm going to season this one too because I haven't used it. Just make sure you stay away from those. But yes, stays on. When I first started stamping, I thought, oh, that's the one I need because it stays on. That's, I want it to stay on every surface. But it is a, um, it is a solvent-based ink that stays on non-porous surfaces, and it will stain your stamps no matter what you do. You notice I handed that to Shannon real quick. I wanted her to go in and do kind of a quick clean on it, even though that stamp is going to have a black tint to it from now on. But not the end of the world because yes. most of my stamps are used with black ink anyway. Washed, it is still black. It's still going, And you even use squeaky on it, right? I did. And it's still going to have a black tint. I scrubbed tint. it with my finger, but it is still black, y'all. Okay. And it's okay. Let's go right here. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure, thanks. Actually, I need a little pressure. Diana, for my birthday, all of us went out to our land and shot guns. Just had fun. Had a little target shooting. Yep, this past Monday was my birthday, and this coming Monday is May May's birthday. So that's why we're having the sale for, uh, in honor of our birthdays and passing on a little, little discount to you guys. I'm going to have to press. I'm trying not to have to press, but I'm going to have to. Pressing is where I get nervous. Is that where the ink moves if you ain't careful? Yeah, and this would be better if you guys used a positioner. Like the, um, this would be better if you used one of these. Because the little rubber feet help to keep you from sliding. It's really cool for that. But I didn't want to unload, reload, unload, reload. I just wanted to hand your Shannon. <laughs> Bye. I got the oven preheated, y'all. I have a little toaster oven that we use. Um, you might be thinking, where are you going to poke the hole? We're not going to poke a hole in this one. This one we're going to treat like a, kind of like a stud. I mean, it's not a stud. It's just going to be a little flat circle earring. Uh, Tracy, this sale will last until Sunday at some point in time. So it started yesterday. We'll turn it off Monday morning. And it'll go to Monday morning. It's through Sunday, but we end it Monday morning when we come into work. We give you a couple extra hours in there. Yep, so almost everything in the store other than the club memberships is 20% off. I did Pretty a really cool. poor job on that one. I will go back and do it again. Fired. Not really because I'm not doing it. I might try it. Well, thank you, Marie. We're trying to lose some weight. I pressed super hard on that one. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do what Shannon said. I'm going to use the Sharpie. I have one over here somewhere. Do you see it? Another thing you can do, if you have an eraser like this, you can tap that in your ink and use it to fix spots. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this number. I have a fine point, too, in the office. This will do. Uh, Trish, no, it's not necessary for you to tell us you're coming Monday because the store will be open and we will be here. But we would love to know that you're coming. It, it, yeah, it, I mean, you don't have to, but if you know you're coming, we'd love to know you're coming, too. We're going to go over some situations and stuff that we're going to be doing for safety protocol. So... It helps us to know you're coming because it helps us to know that we have enough safety precautions in. Can y'all hear my children? They are having the best time in there. I am not drawing. I'm smashing. See how I'm dotting? Well, Pamela, we felt like it was important to give the discount. If you want to give 20% extra because it's our birthday. Just buy 20% more. Just buy 20% more. There you go. 
The code is VINMAY20, V-I-N-M-A-Y-20. Kim Dixon says she's coming. Kim, are you coming? I was hoping. I was going to ask you to just take the day off of work and come spend the day with us. Tracy Marie says she's coming. Who y'all. Got it her room It makes me nervous. Booked. It makes me nervous. Look how good. Look how good. Look how good. Yay. It just gets better. All right, I'm going to let this dry, and then it's going in the oven. So let's talk about the oven. So it's a toaster oven. It's red. <laughs> it's red. It's real cute. The only thing that's not 20% off is stamp clubs. So oh, we got man. permission from um, the young lady that owns. It's my sweet petunia. My sweet petunia mm -hmm. that we could go ahead and give the 20% off for our birthdays too. So even the Misties are on sale for 20% off this time. Okay, there's one. Shenanigans, these are going to be cute. Okay, I want to give you some stuff I learned about the oven. Okay, I'm using a toaster oven, and for some reason, I think I know why, but I'll tell you. For some reason, the back of my oven is hotter than the front. You can imagine, when I open the toaster oven door, the entire heat comes out. So I want to make sure I put these more to the back of my little area. Now, here's what I want to tell you. And I do tell you this in my upcoming video where we make these guys. So these were two different sizes. This hexagon is a two-inch hexagon, but this is only a one and three-quarter inch circle. I found that you need to put like sizes in the oven at the same time and try to keep them in the heat at the same time, in the same place. So don't flood this sheet with um, shrinks. Just do a few at a time. You, you'll be happier because like I had a couple I had to put back in. And when I put it back in, I'll show you what I did. Not only did I put it back in and overheat it, when it came out, I put a heavy book on these to make sure they stay flat, and I distorted it. Although it's super cute and it doesn't look bad at all, because if it was clay, it could be distorted, you know? So you don't want to distort. And I'm going to show you what these look like now. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to be able to see, because this is the circle we just used, you're going to be able to see. These will shrink 80% of their size, okay? So they're going to go 20% down. I mean, they're going to leave us 20% of what we're looking at, okay? And I'm going to let Shannon heat these for us. And what, let me tell you what we do. I know this is, y'all hate this part when I'm just talking, but I have to tell you because I can't take you over there because we're live streaming. So, Shannon will put this into the oven and she will watch it. The oven is set between 3 and 350. That's what the thing tells us to do. She will watch them. They will shrink. They will slightly curl. They will freak you out for a second. You'll be like, oh, they're going to, nope, there they go. They flatten out. That's how they do, don't they? Yes. Once they get flat, take them out. When you take them out, quickly, beside your work surface, just go ahead and have it protected and ready. When they come out, put them on the work surface next to them, cover with another piece of foil or parchment paper, okay, and then just sit a book on them and just let them cool for a second like that, and that way you'll get a nice flat project, okay? You get one shot. <laughs> it could be made one set. <laughs> no, it won't be bad. She knows what she's doing. She's a pro. She painted the tiny bit. She painted the tiny bit. But look, even when you see this video, I show you how to do the holes. I show you how to do the jump rings. I show you how to do all of that. So you'll see that. Tamitha, are you here? She is. Is the jewelry, Can you make the jewelry video Tuesday's video so they only have to wait through one more video? Oh, I would be scared of that. Kelly, okay. Kelly says if you don't have toaster oven, use your heat tool. Here's why I don't do that. Because this guy right here is not heat resistant, and you want to make sure your work surface is heat resistant. And I've I'm chicken of that. I've never seen them do this. They completely bubbled up instead of rolling. I think it's because the size they are, maybe. But, I, I mean, you can try it any old way you want to try it, but I don't like to use heat on my little dude. But I... Do you guys not have a toaster oven in your craft room? Like, I've had one in my craft room forever. Is that just me? Honestly, is that just a thing? Because, like, when I polymer clay, I need it. When I do this kind of stuff, I need it. I've used it for... Uh, Reheating my pizza. I've used it for... Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to say what I've used it for because people will be like, what? I've used it for flattening out acrylic things that get bent. Um, I've always had a toaster oven in my craft room. You know that. Mm -hmm. I don't always have I it I always out. try to use it for food and you won't let me. That is not a food oven. That is from a craft room. There's nothing wrong with having it. Right? Nothing wrong with having it. All right. I would think it would be hard to... It is hard to... You, I'm scared of it. I'm scared of using the heat tool like that. But I learned the hard way. I melted one of these one time. And when once you once you 
do this. Of course, you don't have to do it here. She's like going, come on, man, use your brain. Move it to a heat, pr heat protected surface. Yes, I agree with you. But I'm scared of this stuff. That's so much emotion for a craft project. What is me telling her that she gets one shot? <laughs> well, they curled and they're not flat. They will. Flat. It may just be too cool. Flat. Flat. What's the oven on? 350. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Where are we at? Stain stamps are easier to use. Cleanse Stain stamps do stamp better. Bug has one for follow. What? You said where we at? I said Clanton. Oh, Alabama. Clanton, Alabama. Oh, your space doesn't allow a toaster oven. Stick it under your table. You don't use it all the time. You just pull it out when you use it. This one lives on the very bottom shelf in the corner, and we only pull it out when we use it. Oh, thank you for the happy birthday song. I have to squint to see everything, too, y'all. Um, I need a lot of snowman nose buttons for a quilt. Ooh, yeah, good idea, huh? To make carrots out of this? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now listen, you'd have to do some practice because they're going to shrink way down. Way down. Um, Who all's coming Monday? Somebody tell me if you're coming. I saw a couple of you said you were. Are you going to go some, do some they're live shows? Let me look at these, huh? You going to do some live shows Monday? Oh, we might do a live show. How is this a thing? Did they go flat and then do this? Uh-huh. They went flat and then curled up. Well, they like bubbled, and then they slowly flattened out, and then they just started to curl. Is that one starting to open up now? Well, you guys got me. So. I mean, we're still Who's here. coming? Who's coming? Who's coming? I told you we shouldn't do this on a live show. I've never <laughs> had this happen. <laughs> How many They're have having a panic moment because How many it appears have we done? that they are not flattening back out. This is the same shape we did yesterday, too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Penny, for the Here birthdays and Donna and everybody else. A lot of folks yeah, saying that. Do you see it going? We appreciate it very much. As soon as it goes, you're going to have to bring it out. Trudy, my back is feeling much better, and uh, thank you for asking about that. Uh, Was it just not hot enough? Even the nerve down my leg is better now, so that's good. I can get around at least... Most of the time. <laughs> they got a tan. Oh gosh, I forgot how to I still have to be real show. careful well, and not down. pick up anything much. A little bit more. A little bit more, baby. A little bit. Yes, I'm talking to my earrings. They're getting a tan. We decided to put them on brawl. We didn't. We were joking. We didn't Bless put them on brawl. Maybe I didn't preheat the oven long enough. That's no joke. I preheated it a long time yesterday. Oh yeah, Monica. Shut talk Ron into it. It ain't. It's just a. Yep. Hop, skip, and a jump. Put the top up. Is it supposed to be raining set Monday for real? Yeah, I think it is supposed to be raining. Maybe not. Did, wait, is it Monday? You know, uh, you're the weather girl. It's supposed to rain here Saturday. It's supposed to start raining here tonight yeah, and rain through tomorrow. Yeah, well, I, I think, don't it's think clear Saturday. Saturday. I think it's clear Saturday. I looked this morning. But Monday. We've been quite busy. What yeah, 70% chance Monday. And these are cute. They went oval, but I love them. They both went the very same shape. Oh, they're cute. They're so cute. Okay, Look so now, now it has moved so from Friday. Shannon, those are cute. I'm to just excited. tonight. People are going to be jealous of your new earrings. Then 40% chance on Sunday, 70% on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You told me you went That don't sound like a good day. Beach. But uh -huh. it will be dry and pretty. Inside of May May made it. <laughs> and we have and, an awning. And so. on the porch if you have to remain on the, on the porch if we're too crowded, which we were going to talk about. Okay. Robin Monday, we're reopening May May made it to the public. Oh gosh. What is wrong with my eyeballs? I don't know, but Okay. So E six thousand. This is the jewelry one. We have this in store. I think we don't have a lot of these left, but I love this because it comes with this little tip. But I gotta show y'all something. Here's what you do. Okay, you take out oh, a post-it note. You take out a post-it note, okay? And you just barely squeeze this. Do not squeeze, squeeze it. Oh man, did you hear that bubble? <laughs> it was a bubble, so maybe it won't be the worst. I don't think I actually put any pressure on it. So you just wanna get it going. If I have a love-hate with E6000, it's the greatest glue. It literally will hold sunlight to air. That's what my dad's always said about it. But 
it will also go everywhere. Is it gone? The store will be open from 10 there to comes, 6. All right, I'm just Monday gonna... through Friday and 10 to 2 on Saturdays. I'm not going to need any more than that. Let's shut her down. But if you're coming on a Saturday and you want to see us, you definitely need to let us know. Okay, I'm going to flip these over, guys. Okay. I'm going to take my little earring back. These are the flat back earrings that I'm using, the larger ones that we carry. And I'm going to squish that E6000 all around it, okay? And I'm gonna place it at the top of this earring. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm at the top, and I am. Shannon, these are cute. I'm so excited. They really are, I'm gonna have to make me a pair. And then, the other one. Now, I'm gonna tell you something you may not know about E6000. The actual best way to use E6000 is to marry it, kinda like you do rubber cement. The best thing to do is put your E6000 onto both parts of your project so onto the back of the earring and also onto the back and let it sit for like 10 minutes and then put them together matter of fact i want to say the directions tell you to do that but we don't ever do it and i may don't read directions well i have read it because somebody asked me about it one time <laughs> where is the directions on here um, um in the garbage most of the hotels in our area will be clean and read safe. complete directions on the back of card like I said, in the garbage. We do not have a substantial amount of hotels in our little city. So best results, lightly rough in the surface True. before use. Puncture, seal, and neck. Uh, da, 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 da. Apply yeah. directly to surfaces to be bonded or repaired. Monica, it looks like they are about the size of a quarter. Allow 24 hours for curing. Hours. How many? Hours. 24 hours for curing, depending on materials and temperature. Maximum strength may not be reached for 48 to 72 hours. For future easy cap removal, apply a thin coat of petroleum jelly to the threads so the tube may, uh, of the tube before replacing the cap. I'm just jealous that you can read that. <laughs> Look at this writing, y'all. <laughs> Who else is jealous that she just read that like that? <laughs> Back in the trash. Okay, check this out. I think these are about nickel size. Yeah. Do you mm, think? They look a little bigger than nickel to me. I don't know. You got a nickel? Probably not. I got a nickel. I got, I got a nickel. nickel. I got a nickel. Hey, 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 hey. I have no change in my pocket. Me neither. Me neither. I think they're closer to nickel size than quarter size. Oh, let's measure them. But we have a, a Best Western that I know. Isn't it Best Western? Three quarters. They went oval. I think the ink made them go oval. I really do. Because they kind of went the shape of the monogram. Did you notice that? A nickel is 0.835 inches. This is what we call Shagoogle. She, if you just think it, Shannon Googles it. Like, she's worse than, you know how your phone listens? No, no, no. Shannon, you'll, you'll go, I'll look at Vince and go, hey, I wonder. And she's like, Google says. <laughs> how big is a nickel? 0.835 inches. So not quite an inch. Yeah. So these are smaller than a quarter. Because I think a quarter is at least an inch. Now, I would let these dry for 24 hours. That is what I did with these. I left them here overnight. I let them dry. And these are the ones I'm wearing. Y'all see the ones I'm wearing? They're so cute. Okay, so Tamitha said that these earring video, this earring video will be up on Tuesday. So you can see how these were done completely. Y'all want to talk about a cute Mother's Day gift? Stinking cute. And let me tell you, my mother-in-law would love these because they weigh nothing. They weigh nothing. Like, that's as she's gotten older, she can't wear heavier earrings. And she is always saying, those look heavy. And she likes big earrings, because she's always loving your earrings. But she's like, those look heavy. But these, you can't feel them. You don't know they're there. They weigh nothing. You could use your punches. You could use your dies. You can use it in your Cricut machine. You can do any shape you want. You could cut the monogram out and then shrink it. Write it down. It's a video idea. I love it. We can, we're going to do it. So you have the uh, Shoney's Inn which is called the Inn of Clanton. You have the Best Western Inn. You have Holiday Inn Express. Express. What are you doing? The Key West Inn. And then Tamitha's favorite is a- uh, Scottish. The Scottish Inn. Um, somebody said- People are asked about hotels safe and clean. Yes, you can use the fish hook ones. Where didn't we have them in here? I just decided not to use the no, fish hook. No, we only have one pair. You could use the fish one hook ones, pack, but I didn't. One pack left. 
Um, how did you stamp the cheetah print? Watch Tuesday, watch Tuesday. Should Google. Wait, let me tell y'all up front, because I'm, I'm not going to make you wait for Tuesday for this. You I no longer Google. shenanigans. Oh, she should Google. Um, we used our stamps that called Layered Leopard. So it's 20% off right now. So if you're wanting to pick up that stamp set, that's what I used to get the leopard print was my Layered Leopard stamp set. So make sure... If you're wanting to get it at 20%, off, that's why I wanted to show you all these. You can get all this at a discount today, so go get it. Mary, you got your first Misty. That's so good. You're going to be so happy. That is a purchase you will never regret. Never. Did you tell them that you used Stays On to uh, stamp the cheetah or the leopard on your earrings? Stays On on your non porous surfaces. Let me tell you all something. If you struggle with knowing what ink to use, this is a commercial. Ready? If you struggle with knowing what ink to use, I have a video that I teach you ink inside and out. You will not, I promise you, you will leave my video knowing everything you need to know about ink. It is a class that I offer online and it is called Stamp, Stamp right, up. right Up. I teach you all about stamps. I teach you all about inks. You know which ink to use for this. You know which ink to use for alcohol marking, markers. You know which ink to use for watercolor. You know how and why to use them. So you don't even have to go is this the one I should use? Is this the one you know? This is a dye ink. This is a pigment ink. This is a solvent ink. Like, you'll know more than you ever thought. So, if you're wanting to learn about these, Shannon just put the link in. If the link is not there, maybe Tamitha could put it in the description, just, too. Yeah, um, if you buy the, one of these, which one can go through a printer? The um, inkjet one. It says it. Lolly, yeah. yes. Let me tell you about that. Lolly asked, does the stays on ink stay, stay on ceramic surfaces? It does. But if you want to ask me if it stays permanently, it's going to depend on the ceramic, what it's used for, and if you seal it or not. Let me tell you why. I bought those terrazzo tiles. I think they're called terrazzo tiles. And they're kind of a matte finished, almost marble. And I made sets of those for, uh, for a craft fair I did and also for presents for my family. And they lasted for years, but over time they faded. Like, I know mine, because I use my um, coasters a lot on our tables, mine faded in probably two or three years, but my mother-in-law still uses one. Every time I go to her house, it's still there. Oh, my camera went. Come back, camera. It'll come back. But my mother-in-law still uses hers, and it, but she, I think hers is more for looks, and hers hasn't faded as much as mine. Mine faded, faded. So I had to get new ones. But you can use it on there. But I would say you need to seal it if you want it to give it as a gift or if you want to sell them. I would put a sealer on top. Maybe a triple thick. But be careful. Be careful with your sealer. I've used spray matte sealers on it before. The reason you have to be careful with your sealer, as you'll learn in the video, because solvents move solvents. Okay? that You'll learn more about that in the class that I taught. But you have to be careful not to use the same kind of ink on something because I don't know if y'all know this or not but like alcohol moves alcohol um you know what else moves what hair color moves hair color like likes usually move things stays on smells fantastic uh jingle jingle kringle miller which is my favorite name I've heard today that is awesome says it smells fantastic it smells like two one of two things it depends on who you are it either smells like cherries or almonds I think almonds I smell cherries oh it smells so good I think it's almonds all right, I let's see. Gloss that smells like it. Mary says that ink video is the holy grail of ink usage. Thank you so much. And I tried to put everything in it. If anybody's looking for the one, it's hard to tell on the website which one is for the inkjet. It's the B413, the white one. It says white. That white. One. Yes, that will go through your inkjet print. And also, it will say print, I think the picture. or yeah, the picture is just small. It should say in the description, too. Have you ever done a bundle uh, well, of monogram sets? We one time did a sale three, buy three, get one, or buy two, get one. I think it was buy two, get one. On what? On monogram sets. But I'll tell you something. 20% no, off. it was buy three, get one. 20% off coupon right now is better than, it was how many buy two, get one? I don't remember. I can't remember, but 20% off, off sale is better than you usually do on standalone stamp sets. Yes. Sales, I mean. Usually when we're having just a stamp sale, he doesn't do, uh, you might do close to 20%. Yes, Okay, those Pam, of you asking about do. the God Bless America stamp, uh, paper pack, it, I, I just went and reordered it, so it should be back in in a few days. Answer Pam's question. Pam, well, let me ask the question. Pam says, does the large and mini Dress My Craft trimmers use the same blade? Yes. Yes. 
They do use the same replacement blade. Thank you, Joyce. Loves the stand product class. Hi, we are crafters and we smell our craft products. I smell all my craft products. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Lolly, I would use, there's a, you can get a spray sealer. Um, I prefer a matte finish because I feel like it doesn't compete with the ink. The matte finish kind of lets your ink show through good. And just, I would suggest doing a test because you just never know. There's a hundred, there's a hundred chemicals in those solvents. And I mean, in those sprays. But do a mist, let it dry, do a mist, let it dry, do a mist if you want to do it like that. And I think you have a better luck with a spray in that particular setting than you do with a brush. Because if it's going to move with a brush, you're going, and it's going to happen. But with a spray, sometimes it'll just sit there. Um, let's see. Is he in there whining that he wants to go home? I have no idea. I think he is. Yes, Misty's are sold out. Wow. Congratulations, Misty winner. <laughs> I will say there's a reason because the sale started yesterday. It did. We did a sneaky little email. If you're not on our email list, you better get on it. Um, oh, I just messed you up. Now y'all got to get the link, don't you? We sent out an email. We didn't do it to be sneaky. We just, Vince decided to have a sale and he wanted it to start yesterday, which I thought it was going to start today. So we weren't prepared for that. So that's why. Also, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video because it's been 35 minutes and I don't want this video to last forever, but I'm going to take you on a walk around, let you see what we've done in the store. Um, and then if you want to look at some product and get some more information about the sale, we can do that. But I wanted to show you the new progress. I think we've been doing that every week and I enjoy it, right? We're not done. We open Monday and me and Shannon have hours worth of work to do. Um, so <laughs> we're going to sign out of this one and we'll come right back. <laughs> You're so sweet, Aunt Lolly. Um, We'll come right back. Uh, what, here's how you'll have to find me, though, because I can't pre-do a walk-around video because I have to do it on my phone. So you'll sign out of this video, and then you'll come back to YouTube, and you'll just type May May Made It into the YouTube search bar. When you see my face in the circle, click it, and that'll take you to my channel. And once I go live, I'll pop up right there, and you can just click it right there. Um, so we're going to do that. Y'all are so sweet for the birthday messages. Y'all are so sweet. Or you want to get the new Tim Holtz Distress Ink colors? You usually do. Distress Ink's kind of been sitting. It's because I'm not using it. It's just kind of been sitting, so he hadn't been going crazy buying it. Um, they did go so fast. I'm shocked. You might need to check that and make sure. We will check. All right, guys, so we'll see you in a few minutes for the, um, the store opening tour. We're going to do that real quick and show you what we got going on. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye now.